The Rambam Hilchus Tshuva writes that regardless of the degree and the severity of the transgression, the chet, whether it was inadvertent, whether it was deliberate, whether it was defiant, if one does tshuva, one is atoned. However, based on the severity of the chet, tshuva alone is not enough. The times one needs Yom Kippur, one may need suffering, one may even need to pass away to complete the tshuva, to complete the atonement. But the Rambam says regarding tshuva, it's when a person chooses to do tshuva, he's obligated to make a verbal confession. It seems from the Rambam, and he says that's the mitzvah, that there is no obligation to do tshuva. When you choose to do tshuva, it's a mitzvah what you're actually doing, but do you have a chiyuv, an obligation? Every moment to do tshuva, the answer is no. It's at worst, what is it? Mitzvah bodiyot chal Mitzvah presents itself, don't delay it. So it's the person's prerogative to push it off. However, the Rabbam writes, on Yom Kippur, the Rambam writes, Yom Kippurim, who's my tshuva, l'kol yochid, l'kol yoch l'rabim. Yom Kippur is a time of tshuva for the individual and for the community. Vukets mechilu slicha l'Yisrael. It's the end. It's the last opportunity of forgiveness at every level, whether it's deliberate, inadvertent, for Klal Yisrael. Therefore, there's an obligation on every Jew to what? To do tshuva and make the verbal confession on Yom Kippur. Why? Because it's Kate Slicho Mechila. It's the end of the road. This is the last opportunity. Once we pass in the Elah, it's expired. The opportunity is no longer. Therefore, the last day. You're obligated to do tshuva because it's case throughout the year you can push it off. Say tomorrow there'll be Yom Kippur, but after Yom Kippur there's no other time. As we say, the value of the Yom Kippur is no longer there. It's the last day of the Aseret Shemit Tshuva. Dusha Hashem Bimotzu Korobi Yosakorov. The most intense level of Rachmim is on Yom Kippur, so therefore Hashem wants you to take advantage of that last opportunity. If one does not, one is actually, he's violating a positive commandment. It says, Lefnei Hashem Titoru. Before God, you should purify yourselves. That is the chiyuv, that's the obligation, but it's rooted because it's Kate Slicho Mechilo. So let's understand now. Hashem wants us to do tshuva. As we say in the Nusach, the text of the Brocha, Brocha to Hashem, Harotzeb is tshuva. In the Brocha of Tshuva, in Shvon Esri, Hashvenu Lusarasecho, but we conclude Hashem wants us to do tshuva. On Yom Kippur, Hashem wants us to do tshuva. Why does He want us to do tshuva? Because it's Kate Slicho Mechilo. Because it's the last opportunity to be forgiven. It's like a parent wants his child to take advantage before it's too late. Because once it's too late, it's over. That particular opportunity is no, no longer there. Therefore, Hashem, the relationship is Avla Ben, a father to a child. Hashem wants us because it's ket slicho mechila. But what happens now if a person does not do tshuva? What is it? It's such a level of disrespect. Here Hashem has offered you that you're able to relieve yourself of every level of debt, regardless of the extent of debt, as long as you do tshuva and you make the verbal confession. And a person chooses to what? To be distracted, not to be focused. Or he doesn't value the opportunity. It's a level of affront, and that itself is sin, is a sin. The day of Rachmim, which I once mentioned the name of the Shalom Kodosh, that really on Yom Kippur, the laws of Shabbos and Yom Kippur are identical. The 39 creative activities not permitted on Shabbos are not permitted on Yom Kippur. But yet, the liability on Shabbos is the death penalty. It's the most severe level of death penalty. Yom Kippur, it's not the death penalty. It's only Kores. Kores, one can do tshuva. One is able to repent. Death penalty, it's much more serious. It's more severe. 
person has to be put to death if he was forewarned. So the question is, the Shalom Kodesh says, why is it not the death penalty? See, he explains, because the Midas HaRachmim of Yom Kippur is so overwhelming, it does not allow the person to have his life taken. That's the, that's the intensity, overwhelming level of Rachmim, which is on Yom Kippur. So here HaKadosh Baruch Hu is giving us an opportunity, because it's Kei Tzlichu Mechila, and a person turns his back on this. It's the ultimate level of what? Of a front and lack of appreciation and lack and denying and ignoring Hashem's love for us to that degree. And he says, it's Yisrael. This is specifically for Jews. It's the end of the road for us because of that special relationship. Therefore, as a result of this, a person understanding or appreciating to some level, whatever we can do, we should prepare for the day and we should be focused throughout the day to maximize on this exceptional opportunity.